We weren't able to save them all, but we were able to save one, and at least one is coming home with us. This, probably like 70 pounds. 70, 70 pounds of tortoises? Yeah, I say so. They're not giant yellowfoots, but they're still big enough to breed and lay eggs. All right, so we're gonna get all these tortoises out real quick. We, we got a two and a half hour boat ride yeah. to where we gotta release these guys so we can get So we got a big female right here. So we are on our way to the market right now. It's the biggest market in Okitos. And um, Rick, are you ready for this? Man, I don't know what to expect. They, kind of the, anxious. Yeah, we're anxious about it all. Our driver, our guy was like, just make sure you don't bring anything with you because they will pickpocket you and all this stuff. Uh, many of you guys probably don't even know. You're rec I'm recording you guys right now off my phone, but these things right here, nobody's gonna know I'm recording the whole entire time. These are, these are good cameras. Our guide had told us that we're renting a police officer to walk with us through the market. Just to be sure safe. That uh, we're not gonna get mugged or anything like that. So, so be ready. We're gonna get some crazy footage for you. If we see any animals, I'm definitely gonna buy them. I know people might be mad about that, but at the end of the day, these animals are not going for the pet trade. These animals mostly are just gonna go for bush meat. So we're trying to give them a second chance. So that's the goal. If I see tortoise, I'm grabbing it. Came in, I'm grabbing it. Snakes, I'm grabbing it. Anything that's alive that could go back to the wild, I'm taking it. Let's go see what we'll be able to see. Yeah, I'm Say both of these females. She said, here's a bag. Well, hold on. So I think you can hold them. Yeah. You're going to find like a basket, like a... A basket or a basket? So we can buy a basket. She said, you want to buy them? How many does she have? Right, she has. Yeah. <laughs> Told you, they'll be gone. I'm right back up. Well, How many are there? I didn't even hold bed. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm telling her, buying them all. I'm not leaving any here. Shit. Tell them to put them all back in the box. What box? In the bag? In the bag. Well, how are we going to carry it? I'm holding it. So we gonna... Wait, that's like 80 pounds. Bro, I'm not leaving them here. <laughs> that's a cherry hut. This is my... What the... Oh. Tell her to put them back in the bag. She wants to charge more. Mira, ve, si te compramos a 70. Yeah? Okay, 70 each one. Guys, it's 40. Yeah, they go by. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 7. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. 7 for 3, 1, 2, 3, 210. 210. This is already by. I'm not leaving them, man. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Four, then. Five. Yeah, I'm not leaving the herd. I gotta take the whole breeding herd with me. Alright, we got ourselves right there. We picked up five female yellowfoot tortoises. Um, These are turtle eggs right there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Look at that, you guys. That is epic. Look at the turtle eggs and all. Look at all the turtle eggs. Crazy, every day. They'll go out and get them all. That's why I wasn't leaving. They'll be like that tomorrow. They sit there for too long, they cook them up. Look at the turtle shells in the back cooking. Turtles on the on the thing over there cooking. You think we can find uh, caiman? But we have to go down there. So we can find live caiman? Probably, yeah. Maybe we can get a couple. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's do it. Those are. Oh yeah. Those are cashews. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are cashews. They're the uh, broccoli.
All right, guys, so mission accomplished. We went to the food market. We went there for one reason, one reason only, and that was to go save tortoises. And uh, we, we got five, five yellowfoot tortoises. The rest of them were already, already moving through. Meat, they're done. Eggs are gone, everything was done. But uh, we'll talk more once we get out of the city and get to the jungle and release these girls. Uh, check it out, come here. Literally, old giant tortoises all in here. This is all they gave us to transport them. And uh, we're gonna move them and bring them to the jungle now. You got a safe spot for them, you think? Safe-ish? Safe spot? Yes. Yeah, good spot? Yes. Nobody's gonna eat them no more? Yes. Hopefully? Maybe? Just give them a second chance. All we can do is try. All right, let's keep moving. All right, our car is here. Let's grab this and let's go. Here we go, Ricky. Let's do it. Oh, which way are we going? This way. <laughs> we'll go this way. All right, let's do it. This? Probably like 70 pounds. 70 pounds of tortoises? Yeah, I say so. They're not giant yellowfoots, but they're still big enough to breed and lay eggs. So uh, let's do it. it. Our driver's like, this guy's crazy. What are you doing? We'll put the bags inside. You got it? You good? Yep. We brought Rick here for one reason, too for the muscles. Oh, yeah. It's the only reason we got them. <laughs> Just to hold stuff. Place is crazy out here. I don't know, I'm gonna go on a wild limb, bro, but I probably had the baddest beer in Peru. Oh yeah, 100%, everybody was looking at you. Don't look at me weird. Everybody was looking at you. Yeah, Dad, what do you think? Good? <laughs> Guys, you ready? Yeah. So here they call Caimanes Blanco White Caimans, they're actually spe spectacle Speckle Caimans. Spectacle Caimans. There, the yeah. breeding pond of specs and black caiman that are inside of here. They have over 4,000 Crocodiles. Wow. Mucho. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a big one. Big one. Those are, those are that's a spec, though. That's a spec. Right there, right there. Right there, right there. What'd he do? Look at that, you guys. Look at that one. That's pretty. A black yeah. caiman. That is epic right there. Grande, 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 grande. This is a monster right there. I wish we could have these in the States. What do you think about that? What do you think, Ricky? That's pretty cool. That's, like, no, that's a big speck, too. That's a pretty like, speck. That's a pretty blonde one. That Here, is dope. Like, record that. <laughs> Heck yeah. Good stuff. Good that's awesome. Heck yeah. Hey, we grabbed the black on our trip. That's freaking awesome. That's really cool. Heck yeah. <laughs> Bro, there's a lot in there. There's, there's over 20 in there. Oh my, and there's big specs. Like, that's a big spec. Mucho brancos. Look at all the baby specs. Yeah. Look at all that, you guys. No, see, see. Look at that. We were catching them this size last time we were here. Look at that. Yep. Little specked. That's a pretty speck right there. Beautiful. That is That's a nice beautiful. color. This is some good genetics. Yep. Different genetics than that one. It's a nice one. We were able to save them all, but we were able to save one, and at least one is coming home with us. Well, not really home. We're gonna go let them go far into the jungle and let them be free. Um, but let's do it. All right. You ready, Ricky? Ready. We are two steps closer on getting our pile of tortoises back to the jungle. Okay. So uh, we're heading to the boat right now. And uh, we are gonna get them out of this, out of this bag because I'm obviously they're not happy in that bag. Let me get some fresh air. We have a three-hour boat ride, and Orlando says he has a really, really good spot to uh, let these guys go. So let's do it. It's the real deal out here, Amazon River. So we just made it on the boat, and we got the turtles right here. And uh, yeah, let's do that. Save the turtles and drink beer. That's what we do out here. We save turtles and drink beer. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's do it. All right, all right. We saved the turtles. And we drink beer, Lewis. Lewis was holding. Lewis was holding down the turtles for us, and he got a water bowl. 
for our little dude right there. Put it in the comments. What should we name this little survivor? And now we're going to take these guys out. All right. So we're going to get all these tortoises out real quick. We, we got a two and a half hour boat ride yeah. to where we're going to release these guys. So we, get so we got a big female right here. A big old female. We got one. Uh, we got two. Uh, we got three. Okay, right. freaking incredible, you guys. Yellow foots. We got more yellow foots. Unfortunately, these guys would definitely. People would get mad about uh, us buying the tortoises, but these guys would have been 100% in the food trade. They were in the food trade right next to them in this video. As you guys saw, they were gonna get eaten. If they weren't gonna get sold today, they were gonna get crack shells and be on someone's dinner table. They have chickens here. They have pigs here. They have a bunch of animals here. I got plenty of food here. They don't have to eat tortoises. Um, I really like tortoises, you guys know, so we're saving these guys. That's four. And we still have another one right here. Another one. But so we're That one has a stick. Yeah, they put that like that so that they don't move. And they have to make them like so bags. Um, but yeah, another female right here. Five big females. We're going to go two and a half hours that way. And uh, we're gonna take these guys to the jungle. I'll see you guys out there. All right, so like Lewis just said, go ahead, Lewis. We're gonna take the little stick out to let it stretch out so we'll be running around the boat. So I'm gonna hold it firmly so they can take it out. And they put these sticks, put hammer them in there. Yeah. Because so that, and they really actually mess up their skin, but they do that so they don't walk off. Right. If not, they can flip over and they'll walk off and they there they jam go. Them in there. Yeah, they jam them in see there. see a little bit. We already got one, they're already walking around. They're already trying to hide. They're trying to get into the bush already. Look, this one is breaking up right now. They feel like oh, oh. they're stretching out, but nice heavy yellow foot for the tortoises right here. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. It it really sucks that people are eating them all the time, but it's the way of life here. And yeah, I mean, we're gonna let these guys go. We didn't buy birds, we didn't buy primates, we didn't do any of that stuff because they really don't eat those animals. They're really just having those for the pet trade. So then we'll be helping the pet trade. This is not for the pet trade. This is for food. We don't want them to eat tortoises. They they can go eat other stuff except tortoises. But uh. Let's keep on going. I'll show you the views and have a good time. And what we're looking for right now is pink dolphins. So let's see if we could uh, find any. Yeah. All right, we got a big team right here. Pulling them all off. Pump this guy out, give him a little petty here before they get let go back in a little while. So that's a fish food. That one's gone. Another one right there. Check that out. Crazy. All these ticks. I just neck right here like in front. They have neck. Another one. Look at that. There's a lot on this guy. Be nice to him, bro. He's been tortured already. If he's off this show here. There's another one in the back leg. these guys don't go and tell your pants tonight. <laughs> Pushing through this stuff. We're heading to camp where the tortoises are gonna go. We're almost there. We've been traveling for two and a half hours now and this is where we have to go to bring these tortoises so that they won't get eaten again. The people in this village only eat fish and they only eat farmed animals. That's what our buddy said. So we're trusting him and that's what we're doing. Current is strong here. Take it. <laughs> God damn, we got one on it. Yeah. Bigger than mine. Bring that up his hands. Is it good? Is there more? Oh, no, he's more. pushing more. He's pushing more. Oh! oh. <laughs> good pinch, buddy. Good Woo. pinch. There you go. Oh, yeah. We made sure the boat didn't get dirty. And we're almost there to our place. This has been an absolute blast of a day and we still have a few more minutes to go because we have to let go these gorgeous tortoises. We have one all the way up there as well. They're all over. This is so cool. All right, you guys. So the time is uh, now. We all have our tortoises. We have the tortoises all and we are going to be heading into the bush now. 
away from everybody. This village here is obviously the village we're staying at. This is the spot we're staying at. And they don't eat the tortoises. They don't eat all the turtles and everything. And as you can see, the canopy is above us now. So it gets a lot darker. And um, we did this two years ago. We were able to let go one. But now, obviously, this year, we have uh, five females. And um, we'll see what happens. Um, you're going to watch over them for me, right? You're going to make sure they're good? You're going to protect them. <laughs> he's gonna protect them for me and uh i'm gonna flip the camera and sure we're gonna put them all right you guys so we're gonna let these guys go right here but we already we kept them over the night so that we gave them some a bunch of water we looked them over with ticks and all that stuff and uh yeah my dad has two more here and lewis has one as well we're giving them a second chance and this is this is where they come from this is where they're at and we let them go and let them do their thing they were sitting on the table 24 hours ago and where's the last one? Oh, you can't even see where he's at look at that look how much it blends in 24 hours ago these guys were sitting on a table and now these guys are back inside the jungle gonna do their thing and hopefully make more babies and have more of these guys on our earth pretty dope did a good job got some tortoises got some tortoises now we just let them sit here and let them do their thing maybe back up a little bit and see where they uh, venture off and let them do their thing pretty awesome definitely happy that we were able to get these guys. This was pretty much the main goal of coming here to Peru is getting these tortoises and uh, letting these guys go. All right, guys, so we're here in Peru. And the whole reason why we came to Peru is because our buddy Devin from Backyard Bellingstons told us to come out here. And now I'm pretty much gonna have Lewis start talking and we're gonna pretty much explain the whole reason why we're here and what the goal is here in Peru. All right, so, what's your name? Roberto. This is Roberto. Orlando. Is that? James. James, this is our guys that we have here. Um, Orlando is the one that owns the Red Yokari Jungle Tours um, <clears throat> that we found. And he has a good vision that goes with what we want to do as well. Correct. So he's going to talk to you guys a little bit about his vision and what he wants to do with this place. Um, we are in the middle of nowhere. We are in the middle of jungle in Peru. Um, the nearest town is what three and a half hours away yeah three hours so what 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 is their goal what what do you want to do well, so the goal is here well so sorry my name is orlando yeah okay. so the goal is here just what is an idea <laughs> what i've been been thinking for many years yeah. because i grew up in the jungle and see many things about deforestations or you know killing animals about yeah. hunters you know and uh the goal to be here is like to do a like a rescue center animals so pretty much a like, rehab yes. here in peru so this is like an idea how to do like going to the village and talk to the people about when they have a pets animals and then they can maybe i can help with medicines or clothes or school supplies something like that and then they can give us the, the animal you know and then yeah. we can train in a bit and then release when they get ready to survive in the jungle yeah okay so basically what you're saying is uh, some of the smaller villages here have animals that they take them from the jungle for the trade and they want to stop that um, Because that's how they, they survive. So he wants to be able to with these tours Help him support them with medicine and clothes and food that way they don't have to get these animals From the jungle to keep them as pets or to trade them in, in the black markets and things And then he's able to take them from them bring them here um, Acclimate them back to them being wild away from the humans and then let them go um, Because anywhere around here is just just the jungle but he needs to keep them away away from them and and the only way that's his vision that he wants to be able to do all the villages and everything here he's been training all of them he's trying to teach them different ways to make money so that they don't have to take from the animals they can release them back in the wild so the whole goal is in this property here is to make enclosures and stuff to get these animals to reintroduce them back into the wild my buddy gabe in costa rica is doing that the kids saving the rainforest so we can do a program here in peru i think that'd be really really awesome so if you guys want to come here to the red akari jungle tours you can definitely help out we'll help him and you can see the Amazon, you can see the wild, and donating and helping with him is going to help so that he can make his goals come true. And it's the right goal because it's not the goal to kill animals, it's the goal to get the animals if they need to be found and then get them back into the wild. Yep. Yeah. So thank you for much. Thank you for having us here. We had an amazing time. Yeah. Um, we you. did learn a lot. We saw a lot of animals that I never would have thought I would have seen in the wild. Last time I was in Peru, I didn't yeah. see anything. This time they really got me to see a lot of the animals and it made me think a lot better than what I saw last time because last time it, it kind of sucked. I didn't see as many animals. But having people here that have a better mindset than just wanting to kill everything is a better, um, how do I say that? 
A better vision. Yeah, a better, better vision, a better thing. thing. And it gives me hope that there's still people out here that still want to protect the animals in the jungles as well. Yeah. So thank you very much, guys. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. All right, everybody. So mission accomplished. We came to Peru. I was able to bring my dad here. I was able to show him around. I was able to have a great time. But the whole reason why I wanted to come here was because I know that if I came, that there was going to be tortoises on the table. And those tortoises, unfortunately, are wild caught. And being wild caught, they're getting caught. And they're going straight to the table to get eaten for somebody's dinner that night. Which really, really sucks. In my belief, in my opinion, I think tortoises shouldn't be on the menu. Um, it is illegal here. They're not allowed to have any really bush meat. They're only supposed to have beef, chicken, and fish. But even sometimes I feel bad about the fish. I feel like there should be a limit. But unfortunately, the way that these people are here, they've been doing it for thousands and thousands of years. So that's all they know. But if we could teach them, and teach them the right way, and to be a little bit better on not taking everything, I think we could have a lot more animals here on our earth for a much longer time. But other than that, the tortoises are safe. They have a second chance. They're somewhere in this beautiful jungle. Hopefully, they could produce some more babies and live a much much longer life without hopefully getting on the dinner table again because we heard that these people these hunters will come out with actually dogs and they'll sniff out the tortoises which really really sucks so they get a even less advantage because they have the dogs but i'm going to stop talking now i hope you guys enjoyed this video the tortoises are safe once more make sure you guys subscribe to the channel like the video put your post notification on do all those cool things and uh Appreciate all the support. Let's get this video 5,000 likes. Let's share it around. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.